Hey guys, it's November's Writerly Unboxing. Today you'll be opening the Inku Crate and Scribbler box with me. In case you missed the news, my novel Like My Mother Before Me is now available for your reading pleasure. Get your copy from your favorite retailer to read Alizé's story and learn the haunting secrets of the Salvas family today. All the links are available in the description. Now let's see what came in this month's boxes. Be sure to leave a comment sharing which box is your favorite. As usual, I'm starting with the Inku box because it arrived first. If you don't know about Inku Crate, it is in my opinion, a great subscription box for writers who love cute stationery. In my first Inku Crate, I got everything for a planner, including the planner itself. In October's box, I received an adorable letter set with Japanese demons on it, Halloween themed washi tape, a card capture sakura notebook, and more items to scrapbook with or use for writing or note taking. Now let's see what cute things came for November. Tee -tee -tee. Let's see. I get excited every time this comes in. Let's see. Oh, it's already pretty cute, guys. Ah! I got it. I didn't fall. Yeah. We'll just show it off now. So, you could create for November 2020. Showing off everything that came inside. So, first thing is Star Highlighter Set, which is really cute. Paragana stickers. Which actually, let me see if, like, you guys can make out the hiragana on there. Which is cute. Let's see. We've got stick scissors, which are actually really adorable. They're like portable scissors to take with you. I'll show you how it works in the back. It's really smart. Probably use this more than I think I will. Masking tape material. It's called Chico Choki, no, Choki. Peta paper, Choki Peta paper, which is, I think it's for scrapbooking, I'm trying to like show off. Comes with really cute designs. A Sarsa. Oh, Sarasa Marble Pen. This is the second pen I've gotten, and I think it's the same as the other one. This one actually comes with like two colors. The one that I got last time was pink. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Better, nope, pull back, pull back. There we go. So, it's a good one. It has like pink and, and blue, and it's like lavender color, which lavender is my favorite color, so. And then, What's this guy? What is he? He's cute. It's a little cat. Let me see. He is a Sumiko Gurashi sticker tape and dispenser. Oh, this is cute. I wonder if I can fit like actual like tape in here. If not, I'll definitely need to get more stickers. Put it on my kids like homeschooling stuff. So it's a little kitty cat. This is cute. And last is a Precious Memories scrapbook. Oh, this works really well for some of the things that I got from last month's as well. Look at that. Some cute pages. And that's everything for this month. I really love it. It's super cute. I think the highlighters have to be my favorite and the and the scissors that's actually really clever they have little gummy bears on them how cute is that I'm gonna find a reason to use them like immediately now for the scribbler box scribbler was created by writers for writers their box includes awesome writerly gifts along with a signed book writing support and more but you'll see what I mean once we get this open and let's do that now let's see let's turn it this way 
I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I should be trusted with scissors. But here I am! There. I think I said last time I was gonna get a box cutter. <laughs> that did not happen. And it's open, guys. Ta da! I'm gonna show off all that pretty paper. <laughs> Let's see. We've got the writing contest for this month. It's pretty. I don't know if the backgrounds to them ever have like something to do with the theme. I don't think they have a theme so far for Scribbler, which is fine. I think everything that comes in is awesome. So, all right. Let's see what's inside. Oh, not as much packing paper this time. Oh, let's see. Oh, cute. A motivational little wood block that I can either put on my desk or hang on a wall. You can. Yes, you can, guys. Yes, you can. It's cute. Oh, snacks. It is that gourmet. It says Dinan Gourmet Popcorn Vanilla Corn Singles. I, it's not vegan, unfortunately, so I will probably pass this along to someone else, but it's a snack that came in this time, which last month was a vegan um, snack bar, which was great, by the way. I do recommend that. Um, I don't really understand. It's just popcorn. Like, why would it have milk? It's odd. Whatever. Conversation for another day. But... Let's see. Oh, yay! More stickers! We've got Scribbler stickers that I can put wherever, mostly on my laptop. That's where I put them at least. They're really cute. Um, sorry, my weekend is all booked. It's every day, every day. All oh, this cute. Oh, Isabella Linda. That's so funny. I just posted a quote from her on my Instagram. I think it was this exact quote too. So this is a cute magnet that I will definitely be putting on my fridge up high so my kids don't get to it. It's this one. Daily writing goals. Oh, this is this is awesome. Put goals. You could put your writing goals, your daily chores or tasks. If I can get this to focus, there we go. It's like right when I complain that it's not focusing, it focuses. But yeah. I think this is great. I love that it's broken down as a daily, like, schedule. What else? Let's see what's this. It says, publishing process inside look. Let's see. Agent to editor, pitch a letter. Oh. Look at that. Our final words, correlated letter, editorial letter. What is the theme for this one? Hmm. Let's see. The back shows off like what's inside the box, like everything in there. But let's see. What else? We've got outlining. The writing passport for this month is outlining. So show that off. Ah, there we go. These are great. I love collecting these. These are very useful. Let's see. You're invited to an exclusive chat with literary agent Abby Saul. So. And then the bottom shows details about Abby as well as where to meet with her online, which is awesome. And let's get the book out, which I think is the last item in here. Yeah. 
So the inside pro um, look publishing process talked about this book, Her Final Words by Brianna Labuski. Labus. Um, so sorry. I hate butchering people's names. Um, and here is her nameplate, which is awesome. If I could get it to. There we go. And now for the synopsis in the back. I feel like everything I've gotten so far has been a murder mystery. It's not to complain. Like, I love true crime, so. Um, not that this is true crime, but you know, crime don't commit it. A disturbing confession to murder becomes a trail of secrets and lies. It seems like an open and shut case for FBI agent Lucy Thorne when Eliza Cook walks into the field office. The teenage girl confesses to murdering a young boy. Disturbingly composed, she reveals chilling details only the killer could know. Beyond that, Eliza doesn't say another word, leaving a vital question met with dead silence. Why did she do it? To find the answer, Lucy goes to the scene of the crime in the small Idaho town of Knox Hollow. But Lucy's questions are only mounting, especially when she's drawn deeper into the life of the victim. Then, a combing of the woods yields unsettling evidence that Eliza isn't the only one in this close-knit rural community with secrets. Getting to the truth is becoming Lucy's obsession, and it's a dangerous one, because for the good folks of Knox Hollow, hiding that truth will take more than silence. This sounds like a good mystery. Definitely has my attention, especially because uh, the teen murderer shares the same name as my sister. As you guys can tell, I'm very close with my sister and definitely read books based on our relationship. Not that we've murdered anyone, but yeah, definitely a good read. But that's everything for the Scribbler box. Some of you might remember I got a three month subscription for these as a birthday gift this past summer. And I can honestly say that as a writer, I have not been disappointed in what comes in every month. I'm happy to keep subscribing to both of them. Remember to share what and which you liked most in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up so I know you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more unboxings and videos on writing tips and advice. I post new videos on Sunday, so turn on your notifications so you're the first to know when they're live. And follow me on social media where we can chat writing stuff. As always, Thanks for watching. Until next time.